What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back on the Dark Knight uh, playthrough. So we're here. Uh, we're not at where we left off, obviously, because I said we were going to play a little bit. But uh, we are out here in Velia. Uh, we'll be heading back over here um, in just a moment for the video right here. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys. So I went ahead and bought some gear for the character. Um, this bear's earrings, necklace, ring, and the bear's belt. They're all really, really cheap. So I decided to pick them all up just to have them on my character. Didn't pick up any, like, gloves or anything like that. What I wanted to take a look at, it's been a little bit of time, so I'm wondering if we have any weapons up for this character. Because I'm fine paying for weapons for this character. I, I, I don't need... I don't really care about... Um... What am I trying to say? I don't really care about, you know, progressing normally. If I can have a weapon that's super good, I will. I mean, I have a pretty good weapon. I have a 22. Yeah, I think we're good on that. Let's go ahead and check out the ornament. See, oh yeah, with these, it's kind of crazy because you can go to this. It's 4 attack, 18 defense, but they're all pretty much similar if you take a look at them. I thought about the Kriya. It's 2, 4, 12, but I feel like we're just going to get something better at this point. Like 2, 4, 12, like that, that's just, that just sounds terrible. I mean, we could go and look at... Oops, I want armor. Like, gloves. It's so like, Xerath is what I usually used. And I mean, we could we could get better stuff, but it's kind of like a whatever, we're just going to wait at this point kind of type of deal. So we need to defeat 50 at the altar, so we're going to have to do a little bit of running, but I wanted to start this episode by, by kind of showing what I did, so you guys would know. I'm going to try to do a little bit better of updating what I've done since the last recording on Dark Knight than I did with Sorceress. Um, Sorceress was kind of just, hey, hello, we're back, here's a boss, there you go. So I, th I think we can do a little bit better. Where is it trying to take? Oh, it's trying to follow my, okay. I am going the right way. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to avoid a little bit is the whole, like, Oh, I wonder what he did to, since the last episode when he fought that boss. So, try to update a little bit better. We're going to do a few more episodes on this. Some episodes may not include a boss. This one will, because it's it's going to be... What the? There we go. I'm used to my lawn, so now I'm not used to this character. Wait, what attack is that? This thing has some nice range, like, it doesn't look like it would reach. Okay, so what is that? Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me figure out real quick what attack this is. So, it's right trigger, no, it's just right trigger, it's, it's B and right trigger at the same time. Okay. That's good to know, because I need to know that. My combos are not as fluid on this character, but still not, they're not terrible. Twenty-nine. I did get to level 12 on this character, so we're gonna get to level like 13 in this episode, or 14 maybe. But yeah, this character is just simply going to be when I feel like recording it, we'll record it. I will get all the bosses, so don't worry about that. I do plan to get all the bosses. Okay, I still don't quite get that attack. I'm going to have to figure it out here in a second. Once that cools down, I'll figure it out. Okay, so is it right trigger, then right trigger X? Alright, you need to die. Let me go find... All right, let me try this. So, right trigger. Right bumper, right trigger. 
Oh, is it all three of them? Hold on. Now I gotta let it cool down again. <laughs> I gotta test this out. I think it's... It might be RBB. Or R... Yeah, right bumper B. Let me try that in a second. Yeah, there we go. It's right bumper B. Okay. Sweet. At least I figured that out. Alright, let me get over here. Summon up my black spirit. Hee <laughs> hee! They've succumbed to their fears that have given Red Nose their complete loyalty. Grab that. Staff of Agris, the dark energy that controlled Red Nose. Who knows? It could be the work of those wizards. Ha ha ha. Let's take their staffs and investigate. They seem suspicious. Hee hee hee. Complete that. Alright. So I'm gonna go to the. Well, I'm gonna kill these guys. That's the good attack. That that that's like the combo. I guess it could be the combo um, finisher, or it can be the entry attack. I'm still not quite sure how I want to use it. It kind of dashes you forward, so it's probably the intro attack. But it's still. I think you could use it as a combo finisher. I really just, like, one-shot these guys? I mean, I do have upgrade... Like, I do have better gear than almost everybody is going to be here, but... It just doesn't feel right that I should just be one-shotting them like this. But yeah, we are. We're, we're, we're one-shotting. And I'm lagging a little bit. Hello, game. So I need to kill three more warriors. A couple more regular imps. Ooh, two more warriors. So let's go get the ones over here. Probably just kill all of these guys. Smack that. Okay, let me let me finish up the quest. I'm like out here. I'm like testing stuff and looking. Oh, they're nothing special. They're all just from any common old tree. Red knows a secret. Look, it's the cowardly tiny nose. He must have mustered up enough courage to come all this way. It would be fun to scare him, but it's not the time to do that. Let's go talk to him. All right. All right, Tiny Nose, how you doing? Are so persistent. You really want to know about the boss, the, the bot boss. No, Red Nose was always bullied. It's because his nose was red, just just like my mind. But his no nose glowed and it was shaped like a potato. Every day he prayed. He prayed for power so that he c could help everyone around him and then and earn their respect. But a dark energy surrounded him. It grew until he was taken by rage and a hunger for revenge swallowed up Red Nose. I know for sure now. If what Tiny Nose is saying is true, I know what this energy is. It's called out. It's calling out to us, isn't it? Exciting. It's hiding in the darkness. It's so full of rage. He, he, he. That's why no one can find him. I could let him loose, of course, if we wanted to. He, he, he. Are you ready? What about or what you're about to see might seem like fantasy, but it might just be your new reality. He, he, he. All right, M Captain time. Alright, let's see how bad we wreck Red Nose with, like, upgraded gear. Because, like, I have, like, what do I have? I have 45 attack point increase. Or, 45 attack points. Usually here you have, like, none. You have, like, 12 or 14. 
Okay, I have to interact with the portal now. All right, Red Nose, let's dance. All right, party time. I can't. Oh, I did dodge out of there in time. Can I? Are you gonna let me do the strike? There we go. I don't know why it wasn't letting me do that attack. Move around to the back. Get those back attacks while he's going ham. Get up. I knew that was gonna be I knew that was gonna be the slightest of slight work when because I one shot these enemies, so I knew I knew he wasn't gonna put up too crazy of a fight. Alright, well done. I knew you could defeat Red Nose. Fear not, my powers will protect you. After all, what's the worst that can happen other than you just or other than just dying, right? Ha ha ha, real real funny, Black Spirit. Compliment of a veteran. Why do people keep bothering us with their problems everywhere we go? Is annoyance just a human thing? People in power are the worst. And speak of the devil, yet another human with something I'm sure demands our attention. Oh well, might as well see what he wants. Alright. Hello, Cliff. Ah, it's you. I was rather surprised to hear Uno say that you just took off. You and I are the same. We value actions over words. Immediately after your departure, I assembled a force to break through the Steel Imps to rendezvous with you here. You really are quite extraordinary to defeat that scoundrel Red Nose so quickly. History has been t written today, my friend. Our names will sure go down in history. Uno told me about you. He said you have some kind of illness. I know someone who may be able to help. He's a famous alchemist. You should go introduce yourself to him. I will return to the camp, drive out the rest of the imps, and prepare to fall back. If only the Lord recommended someone like you sooner. Ah, please re-disregard what I said. It's not important. Take care. Alright. Now, away we go to... I'm going to take the shortcut. It's not really a shortcut. It's a jump down to your death cut. Eh, actually did a good job falling there. Didn't even take any damage. But that, that saves, like, so much time. Okay. Let's auto-path. Pop this. Let's see. I can't even take... I forgot. I always forget that, that I can't even, like, take a look at my skills. I, all I want sometimes is just to take a, a little peek. I just want to take a little peek at my skills. Not asking... Not asking to do anything with them. I just want to look at them. All right. First of all, actually, let me sell to the seed vendor. Would you like to plant some flowers? No, but did my game just freeze? Okay, no, it didn't. Okay, do these have any significant value? No. Sell those. These I know you can't sell in the market, so sell all those. Can't sell or can't do anything with those. I think I can sell that on the market, but I just want it out of my inventory. So there we go. Where are my emissaries? Oh, they're down here at the bottom. They're worth 100 apiece. You want to turn these in. I'm going to save them. We have a little bit of time to trade them all in. That You only gain them on new characters. The four new characters. I think it's an attempt to help you level up or whatever. But All right. Severo Logia is the node manager. Gosh, I'm so bored. How long do I have to stand here? Uh, so those are optionals. Uh, Small Nose. It's a cute name, but he's an imp. Ha ha ha, since it's Captain Cliff's orders, I'll bring him here. But like I said, the goblin worker here is afraid of imps. If Small Nose has a hard time here, I'll send him to Santo Manzi in Velia. He's the work supervisor there. Velia's a bigger town, so Small Nose might have an easier time there. Hmm? Oh, you're headed there now? Well, that's perfect. Velia is nearby, just down the hill. It's a beautiful village by the coast, so that Small Nose... So that Small Nose, he's inside the imp camp. You go straight to Velia, I will take care of Small Nose. I don't know why that that right there that sentence right there was so like it just seemed like not a proper sentence to me it was a proper sentence he was asking a question but i, it, I just didn't read it as a question <laughs> oh, oh. 
Hello, random soldier. Gosh, I'm so bored. How long do I have to stay? Isn't that just what the other person said? You see that huge castle towering over there? That's Crone Castle. There was a massive explosion there a long time ago, but I have no idea how it happened. All I do know is that sometimes people make pointless bets to see who can swim to the castle first. Do you know how many people I've had to fish out of the water? Oh, it's been so long since I've chatted with someone. I got carried away. Now that I think about it, why are you here? Did you have a question? Um, I don't really have a question. I know how to get to Velia. Alright, so we need to go find the alchemist. One thing that I wanted to do on this character, which we're going to do now while I'm thinking about it, is I needed to buy pet food because... Well, we'll talk to this alchemy. Oops. Talk to the alchemist first. I think this is a cutscene, maybe. Welcome. You must be the one Captain Cliff spoke of. I see. You lost your memories, but have somehow managed to keep your sanity despite being engulfed by the darkness. This m is most rare. Losing your memories may be a defense mechanism. Your mind's way of enabling you to retain your sanity. You may even have been an adventurer before this dreadful incident took place. It seems destiny has quested you with the biggest adventure of all. An adventure to find your memories. You might even meet someone along the way that recognizes you. But before you go, it would be a good idea to rest. I recommend you seek out the village chief, Old Igor. Uh, old, uh, seek out the village chief, period. Old Igor does love a good adventure tale. Alright, so we got more earrings that I don't need. So I need to come up here. Go around here. I might need to go buy money. I for, eh, I'm going to or not buy money. I need to go withdraw some money. I wasn't going to do it, but probably a good idea. And I'm going to withdraw a little bit of beer. You'll see. You guys will see how much beer I have in the marketplace. Okay. So go to the central market. Look at all of this beer that I have stored in the central market. I have 3k beer. I'm going to withdraw like 500 of it. Actually, I'm gonna, I want a thousand of it. Can I withdraw a thousand of it? I can. Good. I don't know what that's gonna do to my weight, but okay. Can I get to inventory? Can I get five hundred thousand. There we go. I need to get back on selling stuff, but I have all sorts of workers now, so I'll show you guys. I mean, I have all of these workers now, so I need to keep them all filled up on beer so they're happy i have so many workers now it's it's actually getting a little out of hand i have pretty much my whole entire building empire maxed out for how many contribution points i get have once i get some more contribution points obviously i can expand it but let me bring up my world map as you can see i have stuff going on around velia and then I have some stuff going on around Heidel, as well as a little bit around Glish. There's not much around Glish, and I believe four houses is all you can get in Glish for lodging. I have stuff going around around uh, Calpheon, but I still have two workers at Calpheon that aren't doing anything, which slightly annoys me. I need to get two more. I need to find two more something. And then the next area that I'm going to do is down here in Keplin. But uh, I don't have enough contribution points right now to, to do that. I also need to connect everything. Actually, did I connect everything? I might have connected everything. Um, yeah, I did connect everything. It runs Calpheon to here, down through Keplin, and then over and up. Yep. But yeah, so I, I have a bunch of beer, so I can do that. I even have like a thousand on my main character, too, on my sorceress. All right, so you have found the right place if you're looking to check in I wanted some adults. cheap food from you. Give me 150 cheap food. There we go. Actually, I just want to buy as many cheap food as I can. Okay, there we go. Actually, I can probably get one more when I sell these earrings. Nope. Oh, nope, not enough. Okay. But that's the stuff I need to be getting on these characters is I need to make sure I get food and stuff like that um, so that my pets aren't just you know, at 0%, absolutely not participating at all. Ah, greetings, adventurer. Welcome to Velia. So what brings you here? Tell me about your adventures. Uh, if you want, I can get you a room for free with a comfortable bed. Please stay a night. I'd love to hear about your adventures. But before that, I'd like to introduce you to someone. T 
Tatros is our town skill instructor, and he's one of the best out there. You have to, you'll have a lot to learn from him if you plan on staying. I suggest you to give him a visit. This is the, the good old story element part of this game. Tutorial area, I guess. I almost view Valley as the tutorial area. Also, I'll go down there and show you in the storage real quick. I know this is kind of off topic, my my conquest of... Uh, I'm going to do a node video later, but I'll show you guys what I've collected so far. So, Hero, what brings you here? Are you here to learn uh, combat skills from me? I don't really need to. That's true. A Bartali cannot go back on their word. I do have something to ask of you, though. My granddaughter, bless her heart, suffers from terrible nightmares, so has to wear a necklace infused with a calming aura to keep them at bay. We owe so much to Alustin for his help. The necklace needs to be regularly reinfused by Eileen, otherwise it doesn't work properly. I gave it to her yesterday, but the inn has been so manic that I haven't had the time to get it back. Could you get it and take it to my granddaughter, Emily? Yes, I can. Alright, so let's run down here real quick. I also, if anybody knows, I'm one... Okay, so the family fund is daily. Which is nice. So I can just receive my family fund on this character. Beautiful. So I don't... I, I think your fame needs to be 300. Because mine's 300 now. And that's when I started receiving stuff. So I'm going to assume that's what it is. I'm not not 100% sure. That don't quote me on that. If someone knows better, let me know in the comments. But I think it's 300 plus. Uh, but 400,000 is pretty darn good um, every day. I'll take 400,000 dollars every day. Um, but here is the Velia. You can see I have 740 chicken meat, 740 potatoes. I just haven't done anything with these yet. I know I need to start doing stuff with them. I just haven't. Um, in Heidel, you can see all of this different stuff. We have 1,000 wheat, 562 pumpkins. And then in Glish, Glish is a little bit quieter. Is there one other? Yeah, Calfian City. Calfian City has a little bit less just because I haven't been uh, doing stuff there as long um, but I need to figure out what I want to do with all that stuff, but I, I do have it going. I do have stuff in the works. Um, I finally got that started. I'm learning the game. We're learning it bit by beat, beat by beat. Can I learn how to speak? Bit by bit. Um, not a professional at this game yet at all, but I, I, I think, I think if you go and watch like my first few episodes on Sorceress and Witch, You'll figure out very quickly, you'll figure out very quickly that I, in fact, am better than I was. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm going to go buy more food with the $400,000 I got today. I'm just going to max out food. There we go. Give me... Alright, 313 food is a decent amount. It's actually not that much when you have four pets out following you, but it's not bad. All right, General Goods Vendor. Eileen. Ah, are you referring to the necklace Islin give, give, uh, gave me just in time? Everything is all set, huh? Just want to know more about the experiment I just did. I am much more diligent than you think. As promised, here is the necklace. Ah, it's very hot. Please be careful not to burn your fingers. Emma Bartali is the chief... Well, okay, Emma Bartali is the chief's granddaughter. She has been suffering from frequent nightmares. Sometimes Emma's nightmares can get so bad that she can't wake up. This necklace was specifically made to treat nightmares Emma or uh, treat nightmares Emma lives at Bartali Farm, not to not too far from here. You'll see it if you follow this road. I literally am like creating like the worst run-on sentences of all time. I'm, like, reading, and then I'm turning, like, sentences, and I'm just, like, ignoring periods. Alrighty, then. Hello, Emma. You brought my necklace. I'm guessing this was from my grandmother. I experience nightmares frequently without this necklace. I should have been the one to get the necklace back from my grandmother. Grandmother. Thank you so much. Yes, you want to know more about my dreams. Oh, well, you see Iwa's Hill over there. I always see these little spirits sobbing quietly to themselves. When I try to go and comfort them, sometimes or something always seems to get in the way. Then these black spirits with beady red eyes would appear out of nowhere and chase after me. Hmm? 
Did you say that you want to head over to Ewa's Hill? That place is infested with goblins. It's too dangerous. But if you still want to go to Ewa's Hill, I suggest you take... Uh, or you talk to Gresha first. Don't let his appearance fool you. He's actually very sensible and wise. All right. I think that's a good spot to call it for today. Um, I don't know if I'll do a little bit of playing before we do the next episode. I think the beginning of the game is the more important part to get, like, a lot of recording. Because, I mean, I'm doing a lot more. But um, I also don't feel the need to record everything for this character and Lon. Um, so I'll probably... Maybe the next episode will be just the Grusha episode, um, and then we'll kill the boss, and then I'll I'll run ahead a little bit before the episode after that. I don't know. You'll find out in the next episode, obviously, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll stop jumping around on top of buildings, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, whatever it may be. Peace.